Hey there, I'm Bob Warfield, and today I'm going to show you how to easily solve the hardest problem that there is in feeds and speeds. Curious what that might be? Let's dive in. So one of the questions we ask ourselves is what's the best way to find feeds and speeds? And the answer is surprisingly confusing. It's don't start with feeds and speeds. Here's why. You need to find your optimal cut depth and cut width before you worry about the feeds and speeds. Those two variables are going to define everything else in the equation. And if you don't choose them wisely, you're just not going to get great feeds and speeds, right? Once you know the cut depth and the cut width, the feeds and speeds follow from that. So how are we going to choose cut depth and cut width? <laughs> There's surprisingly little help available today. Most machinists operate by rules of thumb, what's always worked. I've seen some software out there that, that makes a very pretty job of just presenting the rules of thumb as though it had calculated something. But the reality is this is the hardest problem to solve in feeds and speeds. There are a huge number of variables at stake, and each one of them can change what the right combination of cut depth and cut width is for your machine. Okay, so let's figure this out. Here's how GWizard solves this hard problem. Visualize the different combinations of cut width, right? That's one axis on this graph, and cut depth. And the height of these peaks uh, is telling you what, what your best answer is. You want to get the highest peak on the graph because that's the one with the highest material removal rate. Okay? And as you can see, but most machines probably are not aware of this, these, these graphs for real-world situations are very bumpy. It's very easy to find some peak. Here's one down here. And think, oh, I found the peak. Well, yeah, you found a peak, but you didn't find the very best peak that there was for your job. So here's what we do with a feature in GWizard that's called CAD-CAM Wizards. Think of it as sending explorers out into this terrain. Each one of these little happy faces is an explorer. And what that is is we calculate the feeds and speeds using all of your variables at these different spots. Then we tell these little guys, they're, they're like little intelligent agents, to start marching up the hill that they're on, whichever hill that is. And in fact, it's also as if they're sort of in radio contact to know who's got something that's working out really well versus who's kind of lost out there in that landscape. By doing that and testing six to 800 combos and using these intelligent algorithms to guide their march to the top of the peak, this works really well. GWizard does a fabulous job at finding you your optimal cut depth and cut width, and it does it automatically and very quickly, and it's the only product out there that can do that. The reality is it takes longer to explain than to just do it in GWizard, so let me show you how it works in GWizard. Okay, so I've started up GWizard here. We're on the setup page. We could go to feeds and speeds, but as, as I said, the most important thing to figure out for your feeds and speeds is your cut width and cut depth. So don't, don't start in feeds and speeds. Start in CAD CAM wizards. CAD CAM wizards are real simple to use. Like all of the pages in our product, you go top to bottom, left to right. So at the top, the first thing we want to do, pick out our machine. I'm just going to leave this Haas. Uh, pick a material. Well, let's do some 6061 aluminum, right? I'm not going to mess with the options just yet. Uh, but the next thing you want to pick out is what type of feature are you going to cut, right? And so I can cut a pocket, and you can get a little graphic over here that shows you what it looks like. You know, 2D profiles where you're going to go around the edge of some shape. Uh, you know, I can make holes, so on and so forth. So let's just do a pocket. It's an easy thing. And I don't have to tell GWizard very much, and I don't have to know much of any jargon either to speak of. I want to go down a, a quarter of an inch in depth, and it needs to know the minimum corner radius 
of these corners. And this could be any shape of a pocket, just so long as it knows what's the minimum radius of the tightest corner that's inside uh, your pocket. Okay? And then I just hit recalc. Boom. I've got an answer. You know, it's just that easy. It's just that quick. I've actually got a complete recipe here. I've got both a roughing and a finishing pass. G-Wizard's telling me what tool to use, uh, how many step-down passes I've got to go. In this case, it's just one. Uh, yeah, cut width uh, and cut depth, RPMs, uh, uh, feed rates. It's all here. I've got a complete recipe of everything that I needed to know uh, to do this pocket. Okay, like I said, it's faster just to do it in G-Wizard than it is to explain how the heck we came up with this answer. But it's an optimal answer. You'll have a hard time finding a better one. And G-Wizard had to do 651 scenarios. So what happened is these CAD CAM wizards during those short few seconds literally fed 651 different combinations over here into the Feeds and Speeds engine to come up with the best answer out of all of those. Isn't that great? All right, folks. Go ahead, try it yourself, check it out, and from here on out, start in CAD CAM Wizards, not in Feeds and Speeds. That's where you'll find the two most important variables, your cut depth and your cut width, and uh, you'll be able to work from there. By the way, a quick double click will load all that recipe into G-Wizard if you really want to drill down and see what's going on here, see what else you might tweak or improve, okay? Thanks very much for listening. I'll be along with another video soon.